What's up, everyone? This is um Brian. I'm right here on Instagram Live. May God bless you guys. Um, in the name of Jesus Christ. And um, I wanted to share with you guys this scripture. It's in Matthew chapter 18, verse um, verse 20, I believe. And I wanted to show you guys um, yeah, what I've been um studying daily in the Bible. Well, not yeah, I've been reading too. And most of the time, I be my habit is I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I read like too much on Facebook posts and Instagram posts, which I had to take a break from Facebook and Instagram. Um, as most of you guys know, I'm gonna go back to school on um, on um, next Monday, and I really want to reach people, lead people to Christ. So, like at the end of September. I might ask permission if I could, like, how can I do a Bible club offering Bible studies, like, I don't know if I should go one before I make my own one, I don't know, because it's important for me to fellowship, me as a Christian, as a born-again Christian, I must fellowship, um, not just at church, because I feel that I need to grow up spiritually, so, yeah, sorry, folks, if I'm not gonna be able to hang out with you guys a lot, I mean, I'm going to miss hanging out with my friends, but I need to do what I got to do, you know. Um, take care, prepare for my future. So, yeah, Matthew 18, 20 says, for where, there, for where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there in the midst of them. That means, um, it's right here. Matthew chapter 20, 18, verse 20. Like, you don't, for those of you guys do, who don't, you guys been telling me, a lot of people have been telling me on Facebook and on Instagram that they don't have, like, no church to fellowship in, but, hey, you guys don't have to have, like, a mega church, like, for you to, um, fellowship. You could fellowship at McDonald's, Chipotle, um, Burger King, Jack in the Box, Dunkin' Donuts, um, the mall, the library, the park, the museum, etc., because um, since I be around LA sometimes, um, I feel like, you know, giving my number away and my um, email address, I'm not going to lie. There was a time I had, like, a, a hard time giving my number away. It's because, like, creepy people out there, you know, people asking stupid and weird questions. So, basically, um, basically, um, yeah, it was hard for me. But I haven't, I'm like, that, duh, that's how people can reach me if they want to talk about God. Listen, folks, like, as you guys know, I'm autistic. I have autism. I have, like, you could say mild autism. I don't know what my level is. The only thing I know, some people say it looks like I don't even have it. But, you know, for myself, I'm autistic. And um, I believe autism is a gift from God. James 1.17. But, yeah, folks, um... I know no one's watching me out there right now, but I just want to clear that up. That if I don't call you guys back or I don't visit you guys back, like by September, October, I know God's going to help me. He's going to help me um, fellowship. You know, I need to do this Mondays on my community college. At, um, and on Saturdays, maybe at the library or at the park. Because, yeah, you know, one of these people cry Saturdays. More, a lot of libraries get crowded. Full of teenagers. Maybe two or three people want to join me in a free Bible study. I won't charge any of you guys a dime. I mean, I don't know if I should get wait till next year or I should do it end of September. I'm not sure, folks. I'm not sure. Like, I need to plan it out before I do it. How am I going to do it? Like, I have asthma. And people with asthma, especially on the flu season, they get sick very often. So, I don't know for sure, folks. But, yeah, like, it doesn't matter where you fellowship, folks. You could fellowship online in your own home. But, sadly, I'm the only Christian here in my house. So, um, I'm basically going to, like, do it, like, at the library. I stopped going to the library for a good while, though. But, yeah. I wanted to share this information real quick with the folks. You guys are not watching me now, but you guys might watch me later. I'm about to do this, so yeah. I want to lead people to Christ. 
So any of you guys um want any information about you know just hit me up dm me if you guys are planning to have a bible study with me in person face to face just dm me on my instagram is um brian zero eight seven six five i must stop changing my username because i had like the stupid habit of, i don't know why i like to change my username a lot i don't know why folks but yeah it's free. I won't charge you guys any a dime. And if I had like a free Bible, I wish I have a copy of this so I could share the gospel with y'all. Because I don't know who's gonna call me, who's gonna hit me up. I don't know. I mean, to be honest with you, I don't know. Because for me, a bilingual Bible is better. I don't know how much I'm gonna need. Because, you know, I'm gonna do it for free. You know, like. I'm not one of those pastors who... I'm not a pastor at all. I'm not nothing. I'm just a servant of God. Try to grow spiritually. Try to um get into the kingdom of heaven. And, you know, as Paul said, if we want to enter God's kingdom, we must go through tribulations. We must go um through a lot, you know, trials, tribulations. And it's all going to be worth it to the end. But, yeah. Um... I'm just, you know, a person who um, is planning to get closer to God more and more. I got to, you know, take a break from Instagram, Facebook. I mean, Facebook and Instagram are good, but, you know, I need to do something out of there, you know. So, like, again, you know, if y'all want to have a Bible study with me on my Bible club by the end of September or the end of, um, or beginning of next year, 2019, God willing... Brother Eddie was telling me that God's going to help me. I know God's going to help me. Because remember, most of us are calling, but few of us are chosen. It's okay, it's okay, Ash. I, I forgive you, bro. Hey, Omar. But no, I just want to lead people to Christ, you know. The end's coming, you know. There's a lot of things going on, people killing each other. All that stuff, a lot of fish has been dying. Somebody was telling me about that earlier, yeah. A lot of fish has been dying. Um, sea creatures dying in Australia and Germany. And yeah. Tornadoes, hurricanes, like a sister was saying earlier. There's a lot of tornadoes, there's a lot of earthquakes. There's a lot of um, tsunamis, floods, Ebola's killing people. Like, yeah, like I said, you know, um, I'm going to try to get these more. I want, like, I, I don't know. I'm going to have to talk to my pastor about it. I don't know, but, yeah, because, yeah, I just want to lead people to Christ, y'all, like, y'all need to see Jesus Christ, you know, stop playing games because one of these is going to be too late. I don't want you to stay behind that tribulation. You guys are going to suffer, and nah, I don't want that. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't know about that. One thing I know, Trump's protecting Christian people or something like that. I'm not really too familiar with it, but... Oh, yeah, yeah. For they say peace. Yeah, that's true. That's true, dude. Like, we're living the last days, and we need to get closer to God in prayer more than ever. And like I say, Instagram and Facebook are cool, but I'm going to have to stay away from it, like, from a good while if I can, but yeah. But yeah, folks. And yeah, I mean, it's like I told you guys before, I have autism. So if I can explain the Bible clearly, I apologize. I apologize if I. I'm not trying to twist scriptures or nothing, but sometimes I just forget. I apologize, folks, if I um do mistakes. Like I, I said, I'm autistic. Sometimes I forget things. That's how my autism affects me. I've been judged by that, folks. Like, like I told you guys, when I was in middle school and high school, nobody would want to hang out with me. Everybody used to call me ugly, stupid, and yeah. I would just call it a little persecution when I was little. Because, yeah. I grew up suffering bullying, folks. I could have, like, killed myself, but the Lord... He helped me. Jesus Christ delivered me from suicide. That's if I was going to commit suicide, I would have ended up in hell. 
Russia and Iran and Turkey will try to attack Israel. Oh, yeah. I hear about that, too. These folks need to get ready with God before it's too late. Thanks, um, Mash. But, yeah, I know if I was if, if I was in your school, I know you will hang out with me during break time, Mash. I know you will stand up for me and say, why well, you guys are teasing him. But, yeah. And see, you know, most people um, judge me. They say that I'm stupid, that I'm retarded, but I don't believe them anymore. I don't care what people say. You know, I'm going to go hard for God. And uh, I'm going to focus on my career. Like, I still don't know what I'm going to choose. Photography, graphic design, or helping people with disabilities because I'm disabled myself. So, yeah. And, um, yeah, most people say they see the love of Christ in me. Thank you, likewise. But, um, yeah. I just try to, you know, get closer to God, fellowship, you know, outside the church. It's not about going to church every Sunday. I need to do something out there, tell somebody about the gospel at Starbucks, McDonald's, Chipotle. Somebody out there wants to learn about God. I don't know who. But, yeah, praise the Lord. Like I said, you know, if I would have killed myself, I would have ended up in hell. And it wouldn't be funny at all, folks, if I would have burned in hell and perishing, nah. But I used to have suicidal thoughts, like, when I used to have problems at home, I wanted to kill myself. But like I said, the Lord delivered me. He delivered. I don't feel like committing suicide. I know every time somebody in this household attacks me, yeah, yeah, Omar, the Lord, Jesus can, um, Jesus can deliver you from that too, bro. We all go through trials and tribulations. Tribulation means when you pass through a bad moment, like maybe your boyfriend break up with you, your girlfriend, you lose your job, you get dropped out from school, you got kicked out of your house. Those are tribulations and trials. But it's going to be worth it in the end, Omar. Like, you don't get it, though, but yeah. <laughs> because, dude... If you want to enter God's kingdom, that's how we're going to get in, by suffering. Like, people have been talking about this Mark of the Beast thing. The 666 right here, the art fight. But yeah, like I told you guys, you know, if one day this chip comes, the 666, don't put it. Please don't. Revelation 13, chapter 13, talks about the art R R F I D R F I chip, something like that. No, don't, 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 yeah, never put that, Omar. If you do, you're gonna end up in hell. I'm not joking, you know, it's not me, you know, it's not me, it's God. God, the one that says it, not me. Uh, we should see a Revelation chapter 13, verse. Yeah, it's true, as she says here. He causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand, on their forehead, or on their foreheads, and no, and that no one might buy or sell except one who has the mark of the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here's the wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it's the number of a man. His number is six hundred and sixty-six. So, if you guys put that, I'm telling you guys, you guys are going to end up in hell. I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing here. He says here, And another angel followed, saying, Babylon has fallen, is fallen, the great city, because she was made all nations drink the wine of wrath of, the, of her fornication. Then a third angel followed them, saying, With a loud voice, if anyone worships the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or his hand. He himself should also drink the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out of strength, which cup of his indignation. He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone, and the princes of the holy angels and on the princes of the Lamb, and the smoke of their torment ascends forever and ever, and they have no rest day or night. Who were chip, who worship the beast and his image, and whoever receives the mark of his name. Like, Revelation 14, 11 says that if you put the 666 on your head, in your forehead or in your right hand, 
you're gonna go to hell. You're gonna go to the place called the Lake of Fire. You're gonna be tormented there. So you have two choices, deny it or put it when the Antichrist comes. But one thing I know, I rather get my hand chopped off, my head, my hands, I rather get beheaded than to burn in hell. I don't wanna go to hell, folks. Hell's a, a horrible place to be in. If you put that thing, like I said, you're gonna end up in hell. You're gonna go to hell if you put a 666 in your hand or in your forehead. I'd rather die of starvation, folks. That is no joke. That's why, you know, we need to see God before it's too late. Y'all can say I'm crazy, that I'm stupid, that I'm an idiot. I don't care. I don't care what people say, you know? If y'all want to make laugh at me and call me an idiot, watch when you stay in the Great Tribulation, you're going to say, Brian is what's right. We've been ignoring him. Right, as Christians, we won't be here during the tribulation period. Oh, yeah, praise Jesus, my friend Ash. We won't be here at all. We wouldn't be here, you know. That's why every day I have to pray and get right with God. Because if Jesus comes and He caught you in sin, you're gonna stay. I'm not joking, folks. I am not joking. So, again, you can call me an idiot or stupid. And again, anyone who wants to learn about God. I'm willing to help. Patiently, just download. If you don't know how to read the Bible clearly, because I have a, a lot of people who have a disability, download you version. It's a Bible app, you know? I could help you guys. You guys could, uh, I could download it for you. And, um, yeah. You could um, add me and my Jew version account, my Bible app, and we could study the Bible together. Like, I read, I read it there every day, folks. So yeah, I gotta go because um, I'm gonna finish this coloring book. I only to share the gospel for a few minutes in here. So um, may guys in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I'm out. Shalom.